Hello everyone, my name is Barry Kidd and today we're going to have a short little Photoshop tutorial video and we're going to talk about blending modes. To be specific, we're going to talk about the luminosity blending mode. All right. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and let's look at the image we're going to use to actually explore some of the possibilities. Okay. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to make a copy of the background layer. To do that, I'm going to press uh, Control J as in Juliet on my keyboard. All right, there you have it. Now, here are the blending modes. And for those of you that don't work with blending modes or don't uh, know everything about it, we're going to get into this just a little bit. But like I said, today, specifically luminosity. Now, I don't use all the blending modes. All right, I use darken occasionally. Big fan of multiply. I use screen, I use overlay and soft light interchangeably. Right? Soft light is like overlay light. It doesn't it does the same thing but just not as harsh, right? I will use sometimes color and I will use luminosity. The rest of these I pretty much ignore. I don't use them. I will occasionally for certain effects, but they're not really my thing. Anyway, but luminosity. Now Luminosity, what's really cool about luminosity is that the luminosity blending mode discards all color information uh, when blended with the layer below it. All right, basically, you don't, it doesn't deal with color, it only deals with highlight and shadow detail. All right, now because of that, there's some cool things that you can do with it. Now, for example, if you want to boost the contrast, if you want to boost the contrast of any RGB or CYMK image, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to make a quick little um, curves adjustment layer here. Now I'm going to bump this up real extreme here. I mean, we're really going to kick the contrast on this thing just to show you what we do. Now, when we cut it off, when you boost the contrast either per channel or globally in an SRG, excuse me, in an RGB file, you not only alter the contrast, but you're going to increase the saturation. All right, see there? Now, if you want to increase the contrast of the image, but not alter the saturation, you can do that with the uh, with luminosity blending. So I'm going to take this here. I'm going to go up, and I am going to change it to luminosity mode. Now you see that the contrast is still there. The extreme contrast range because we really jacked it up so we could see the difference, but it retains the color of the layer below it. Okay, so there we have that. All right, really cool. Now, hold on just a second, please. Now, the example that I gave is pretty extreme, but I really jacked the contrast up to show this. All right. Now, what we can do, like I said, if you want to increase the contrast just a little bit, not a lot, and you're doing that, then you can get the results that you want without altering the color. All right? A little bit of saturation increase along with the contrast. We're here. We're going to get uh, just a little bit of contrast increase without altering the saturation. All right? Now, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this down here, and I'm going to delete this particular um, adjustment layer. Now let's talk about something else. Now this is another thing that luminosity does and it does it very very well. When you go to sharpen your images for example, right? Let's go up here to filter and go to sharpen and I'm going to pull out my unsharp mask. Okay? <laughs> now we're going to go ahead, we're going to apply some sharpening to this layer and just just slight just a light medium sharpening I put on that right there okay but what happens often when you get sharpening or when you sharpen your images particularly if you're doing extreme sharpening uh, you're gonna want you're gonna get color art excuse me you're gonna get color artifacts yellow dots blue dots things like this and they're going to affect your image it's not going to overall rake your image but it's going to, you're going to have these minor imperfections in your image and they're really going to be irritating okay after you sharpen immediately after you sharpen your image you can't do any other step you can go edit fade fade unsharp mask right and then you're going to change that to luminosity now what that does is that allows you to apply the sharpening only to the highlight and shadow detail 
to none of the color detail. So if you did get color artifacts introduced into the image anywhere along the line, whether visible or not visible, when you fade to luminosity at 100%, those artifacts will disappear. They'll go away. You will not be able to see them. They'll no longer exist because you're not making global changes. You're only making changes to the highlight and, she de de highlight and shadow or luminosity detail of the image. <laughs> All right. Now, another thing we can do, let me make another little copy of this here layer. And I'm going to drop here. I'm going to add, I'm going to select the layer be beneath this one I just created. Add a new layer. And I'm going to take in, let's go here and let's put something really ugly. Let's put a really ugly rainbow over top of that. Now, if you notice, we've got our image here is in normal mode. This layer here is in normal mode. If I go up here to luminosity, and like I said before, it displays the color value of the layer below it because it only deals with the highlight and shadow detail. So the contrast is the same for this layer, but it doesn't display any color. All the color that's displayed comes from the layers below it. Since I got this ugly, hideous rainbow thing happening here, you see this rainbow, all right? You see this rainbow from this layer, and you see the color information of the original image below it from right here. All right? Now, what good is that going to do? Personally, I'm not into a lot of really exaggerated effects or image effects, but you can take and do things. I created this gradient here right before I made the video. So let me go ahead and stretch this out here like this so that we can see that. And now we've got this blue to yellow gradient, right? And since this is in luminosity mode, you see the color of the gradient below it, not the color of the image. Now, what good does that do? But you can reduce the opacity just a little bit. And then you get this really cool color shift thing going on here to where it fades from blue down into a nice yellow, right? And this is an effect that I don't know if people are doing it a lot now. If it's your thing, that's cool. Go ahead. But even if you think that's a bit extreme, you can add a layer mask to it. Let me go ahead and grab a black to white gradient. I'm going to shoot that over the top. And now let's go control I. I'm going to press control I to invert that mask. And now you see the effect that we've got. It's, it's a blue to yellow to a plain standard color down here, all reduced back to 32% opacity. And it's just different ways to play with color because it will show when this, is, when this layer on top is in luminosity, it will not display color information of its own. It will always display the color information of the image below it. Anyway, this six sad little tutorial is working on about eight and a half minutes. So I'm going to shut up. Y'all have yourself a happy day. This is Barry Kidd, and I am out of here. Bye-bye.